am too high born to be propertyed. You are too high born to be propertyed. Yet these unscrupulous men in power who act as supposed agents of the state seek to impose frivolous laws upon us with peculiar regularity. It is a wonder they do not impose a tax upon us for the very air we breathe. It is worrisome enough that we are forced to make a living in order to afford a meager existence instead of passing our days by marching to the beat of our own drums. How many poets, musicians, and explorers have we lost in the name of getting a living? How many have had their spark dulled or even extinguished in the name of getting a living? I'd rather not live at all than to go another day earning money to pay for the right to live. By what black art does the state employ for us to continually yield to its rule when we know it is not right? Those who, while they disapprove of the character and measures of the government, yield to it their allegiance and support are undoubtedly its most conscientious supporters. Today, we stand under God and proudly proclaim that we will no longer adhere to a mechanism that strips any semblance of humanity from us. In mere days, agents of the state will begin to reduce this park to rubble, according to law enacted by a dishonorable scrum of men who purport themselves to be elected officials. Well, I, Henry David Thoreau, stand here before you and these legislators to say that I will not allow this to happen. We will not allow this to happen. Right? right. We will not allow this to happen. It cannot be done. And now, I cannot determine what lies within their black and porous hearts, but I know that they stand so completely within their institutions that they can never distinctly and nakedly behold it. They say that these new high-rise condominiums will, uh, will uh, uh, generate tax revenue and attract businesses, encourage the exchange of currency, and bring in many new families that will enhance the culture of this neighborhood. Why are we constantly in a rush to create beauty when it already exists naturally all around us? And God knows that there is precious little untouched open land in these parts as it is. Why, why erect new buildings that occlude the sky when it is already home to every one of us? All right, guys, show's as the over. Poor Kid Cudi Come said, on, we're already moving. home. This is oh, home, this is home to boys, girls, okay, buddy, sparrows, down, squirrels, and to innumerable memories forged here. Identification uh, permit. Uh, first kisses, scraped knees, love, heartbreak. I will sooner be, I will sooner be, I will sooner be rolled over right, and calm, chopped up calm, like these trees down, and down. gentle Just... blades of grass than to be, than to let our park be usurped and leveled in the name of advancement. All right, all right. Look, somebody called in a complaint. We got this said complaint. Here we are. You see the complaint? That's a great coincidence. I have complaints as well. A great many of them, actually. Would now be a good time to air these grievances with you, gentlemen? Look, look, man. I would love to sit here and listen to all your grievances. All we need is some identification. It just worked with us. No. I don't, have, I don't have anything. I don't have a driver's you don't license. I have a driver. No. A state ID, work ID. You don't, no, have, I don't a, have any of those. I don't believe in it. Any identification at all? You don't believe it. You don't believe in what? Driving or work? I don't believe. Well, actually, I don't believe in any of those things. But especially, I don't believe in identification. Okay. I don't have to identify myself to the government. Okay, I was born. That's good enough and of no business to you or any politician or anybody. I know you're just doing your jobs because you have to. Whoa. I'm reaching for a book. I'm reaching for a book. I'm reaching for a book. I wrote what you, this. Whoa, whoa. This is the only identification that I would have, okay? It's my book. All right. My name, if you just open it, you can see my name in there. My name is Henry David Thoreau. I'm a writer. Yeah, and I'm LeBron James. Come on, man. You don't look like a Henry, a David, or a Thoreau. You sure about this? What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, seriously, bro, that's kind of impossible. I read this in high school. So you, re you read my stuff? You should read some more of my pieces. I'm sure you get something from it. Maybe it will help you with your manners. Okay, now he's being a wise ass. 
we need some real identification here. I mean, I'm I don't have any. Show me yours. Look, do you want to go to jail for not identifying yourself to law enforcement? Is that what you want? Because we could do that. It's Friday. You won't get out till Monday. Yeah, man, do you really want to do that? I mean, look, man, we just need to see if you have any warrants or any complaints, criminal, anything. We'll just... Okay, you asked me as a man what my name is, I gave it to you. Look, what else is it that you need? Last time I'm going to ask you, okay? Show me some fucking identification or I'm going to put you in jail. Here, Pick one. Here, here, Look, look. I have another one of my pieces here, right on the front. You can see my name printed clearly on here. Okay? Jesus Christ. And all right, you know what? Enough the with I'm the fucking here. coloring books. Forget it, man. You're going to jail, all right? I don't bet you, I bet you'd have these in here. You don't have any right to my bag. Yeah. You don't, you don't have the right to do that. Actually, yeah, we, do, we do, because it's our we job. We actually do, buddy. That's our job. Before I go through this bag, I'm going to ask you, is there anything in here that could... Uh, anything I should know about? Any weapons? Why would I, I have could... a weapon? Why would I have a weapon? <laughs> Why would you have... No. Just I, look through the fucking I understand that you government employees are intoxicated with power, but this is inconceivable to me. A feeble use of tax dollars. That's what this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he is a writer. <laughs> oh, jackpot. Oh, okay. I, I, Henry, what I'm gonna need you to do right now is put your hands behind your back. I use that to sharpen my pencils. I Only. need you to That's stop. That's the only reason I use that. Stop. I need you to put your hands behind your back. I told you that I'm a writer. I'm a writer. These are my books. One last time. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Soldier, keep on marching on Head down till the work is done Waiting on that morning sun Soldier, keep on marching on Head in the dust, feet in the fire Listening for that angel choir You got nowhere to run You wanna take a drink of that promised land 